Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Squid King. I have scissors. He's got scissors. 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 And we did it. We sold out. We bought a PS5 because everybody's got to buy one of these things. Uh, I think it comes with a little censorship sticker, though, to put on all the Japanese game uh, boxes. I just want Horizon 2. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to unbox a PS5. We're going to show you how it works. We were not provided this system by Sony, so it's going to be a completely unbiased I review. Like I don't think they like us either. And it's not going to be a depressing review uh, like they did in Kotaku. Did you? I have my 1984 novella ready to go at the end of this. <laughs> Did you delete that? No. Oh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're we're unboxing here in the the Clownfish TV studio, it's which a is work in progress. it's a work as in you progress. Can see by the giant arcade box. Yeah, that was also not provided. We bought that. We buy this stuff ourselves. We tell you if it's some people send it to us, so we don't get we don't get squat. We don't get squat. So yeah, we had to buy this ourselves. Ooh. We're gonna open it. We're gonna show you the box. It goes to 8K. We don't have an 8K TV. I don't we think have, anyone has an 8K TV. Uh, super rich people do. We're not super rich people. We're not Kotaku, so we don't have 8K. But we have a 4K TV. So this is what the box looks like in case you've never seen a box before. Yeah, it's a box with a PlayStation in the Surprisingly box. Surprisingly a very minimalistic box. Yeah, compared to the four, we still have the four box. We actually have the, the white PS4 that was the, um, the Destiny. Yeah, the Taco Bell PS4. The Taco, yeah, okay, so true story. PS4 and the PS4 VR, we got from, we won from Taco Bell. Yep. Uh, I think we, yeah. Did, yeah, did we win the Xbox too? Which one, 360? Yeah. Oh, I you that. Yeah, okay, we bought that one. But yeah. we did win the PS4 and the VR from Taco Bell. We're padding this video like crazy. Yeah, we are. So we're gonna, we're gonna open, we don't know what's in the box. We hope it's a PS5. I hope it's, it's fun if we open it and it's like box of rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure the angle at which one opens this. I'm assuming. I'm just gonna pull it out and set it down like this. And so while, it's upside down, then we have problems. So while Squid King is doing this, I'm gonna remind you guys. If you don't know, we have a gaming channel. Uh, Clownfish we'll TV Gaming. Lovely comments like that for an hour. Yeah, there you and go. And I do. I do. I'm horrible. Yeah, we do some live streaming over there. If you guys want to check it out, Clownfish TV Gaming. And uh, okay, I think I'm trying to figure out how the top pops off. Oh, oh, instructions. Like, look at this. It tells you right okay. here. Okay. So I'm dumb. I can't follow these. So it's saying to, okay, we pop the tab. And we lift it up and then we set it down and we pull it out. And it's not in there. Okay, so let's look at what's oh, wait, inside. This is on the top. Okay, so let's get this first before we get to the console itself, which is very large, actually. Do we have enough room for it on the TV stand? Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. It can stand up or Okay. Okay, so we have uh, a bunch of manuals, actually. We have one, we have a safety guide and a quick start guide, as well as. Uh, this is the base. That's the base. Look, I've been following PS5 for a very long time. Yeah, I know you. you're super excited about PS5. I'm very PS5. excited about PS5. Rip. Hear that? So, those ripping effects. There we go. This is the base, so you can sit it on its side. Okay. Uh, here is probably what we're going to do. A cable. That's power cable. Okay. Yep. Here is your HDMI cable. HDMI cable. There we go. To hook it to your TV. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm really excited about. So, this is the new controller. So the this haptic is, feedback this controller. This is the Dual Sense. It was the Dual Shock before. This is the Dual Sense. Let me get a good look at this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Sensi. So, this is. It has haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Oh, it actually feels pretty nice, guys. I gotta tell you. So they said, uh, from all the articles I've I've read, right? Mm -hmm. You can tell when your character is walking on grass, and you can tell when they're walking on metal because you can feel the difference. And I'm pretty sure these change depending on like, so they they'll, like stiffen up some if you're climbing something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you jiggle it, it'll stiffen a bit. So yeah, we yeah. Okay, those are games that Sony will never bring out oh, because they see. censor everything. Here's a, this is a Shame. charging cable for the, the dual sense. So this is pretty, pretty PS4 like so far. Yes. All right. Well, so let's, yeah, if it's not broke. 
So now we get to pull out the big boy. Oh, or yeah. judging by the shape girl. Because you've all heard the comments. I, I, I haven't, but I'm, haven't I can the... guess no, I don't need mm. to uh, to uh... You, you can you get the idea. Now this is yeah, the box was pretty heavy. I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Okay, so. Oh, I'm terrified I'm gonna break it. Cause the the folds seem fragile. Oh, they do? Uh, people were saying that they were, what I'm worried about is, I, I'm gonna be honest, people have been doing reviews and they're like, oh yeah, my unit broke after like two days. Mm -hmm. It looks like a photo album or something. Whoa. All right. Oh my God. It this looks is... much bigger in person. Yeah. Let me get so Holy it's crap. very heavy. I'm getting cardboard on my side. That's never a good thing. So we'll get. That is very heavy. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Okay. Really quick. Get a zoom in on the inside of the plate. Because it's the PlayStation buttons. Wait. Wait. Where? Look. The texturing. Oh. They're they're tiny PlayStation buttons. Here. I'll zoom in. Ready. Enhance. Oh my god, yeah they are. They're on the controller too, get the controller. Okay. Grab the controller, look at the back where the grips are. Okay. Enhance. I'm looking. It's... Wait. No, it's not, you lie! No, it is. Enhance. Enhance. I'm enhanced. I can kind of see it, yes. It might show... It, oh, there it, we go, I see it. Oh. Here, bring it back over. Where? I had to, I had it's to focus. It's on the, the handle. The I grips. see it, I see it, okay. Yeah. So now we know. Now we yeah. know. Tiny PlayStation buttons for the texturing. It's that, that much dot. Okay, let me, can you get that? Yeah, we'll get okay. this. Oh, John. Yeah, just toss it away. Oh, wow, that was too, that was too. Hey, hey. We don't what? care about Sony here. <laughs> I swear to God, if you break anything, you're begging for it again. <laughs> you're begging for it again, yeah. Sony's not going to send you a replacement. They hate us. Um... Look at you fondle that thing. You're like, it's the, my baby. It is my baby. It doesn't have a lot of holes in it like the Xbox. Well, that's because it's it's holy. It looks like a family photo album if it looked like a girl family photo album. God, that thing's big. Yeah, it's large. Like, what? It doesn't even look like a game console. It looks, it, oh, you know what? It looks yeah. like an air purifier. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like a game console. But, I mean, what okay, really so let's, defines a game console? Uh, the ability to play games. Which it can do. All right, so we're looking at all the vents. Are you guys triggered yet by all these vents and holes? Oh, I should oh, Stop that. touching Oopsie. it there. That'll get looped in a GIF. Yeah, oh, my God. It's going to be broken in a day. I swear to God. You know what's going to happen? We're going to go all this trouble, and the freaking cat is going to knock it off the oh, table. That's what I'm scared about. It's going to shatter. No, you can do it. You can have it like this. Should we do a drop test? No. Well. No. No. Yeah, no. Uh, and then there is, I, I don't know exactly how you get the base on, but then you can also lay it down like that as well. Well, now you have to thank Geeky Sparkles. I do. Geeky Sparkles clickety click trigger finger got got this PlayStation. She was actually able to get it like an hour after they went on pre-order. It was less than, well, I mean, they went out and she's like, they put the, fingerprints on it. Oh God, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, go get the base and put the base on. But yeah, she she oh, was able I to scroll. I think you need tools for that. You need tools for that? You have to like unscrew the face plate and then there's a process you have to go through. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Or maybe you just take the little body part off. I don't know, that's what the instruction the... looks for. Here's the quick start guide. Let me flip through. That's in not English. I only read in English. So let's see. Let's play. Okay, play What's on the screen? Getting started. This is a game console for games for gamers who don't like boobs. If you like boobs, go buy a Switch. Actually, does Nintendo allow that? Yeah, they're actually, it's the weirdest thing. Forget Nintendo will put dirty games on their Switch before they'll put dirty games on Sony. Um, always attach the base to the console, so the base has to go on. Yeah, yeah. you have to get get the thing. Okay, so I want to do it vertical for now, just so we can see how this yes, works. Yes, we want to stand okay, it up. Okay, so 
take your base and make sure the hook is in, wait, does this rotate there? Oh, whoa, okay. You wanna make sure it's in like the 12 o'clock position. Okay. And then you wanna take the console rear side facing up and then remove the like, oh, this doesn't seem safe like this. I don't know, you're afraid of breaking it. I am afraid of breaking it. And then take out the screw, this thingy? How do I remove that? Um, um you pop it out. Oh, this is process. Yeah. Oh, pop it out. There we go. That worked. And then, oh, wait, there's something inside it. Hang on. Let's get down on the ground. What's here. in the hole? That's probably. Oh, wait, no, it's just an empty hole. Yes, where you probably just attach this. The screen would go. You okay, just so... attach this. Which way does it go? Oh, wait, here. I there, I look, see. look it. Oh. There's a little thing. Okay, well, you're being dumb. Stop I'm being, being dumb. dumb. Okay, hang on. Okay, wait, I think this goes. Oh, there. wait, was that supposed to pull it out? Yes, that's how you okay, attach Okay, wait, it. so attach the screw hole cap to the bottom of the base, so right here. Right, that's what that means. Yes. Okay. Then you're gonna remove the screw. Then you're gonna attach screw. the base. Yes. Okay, so then I'm literally just clipping it on here. Yes. To the that. Yes. But you gotta screw it in first. But how do you? Oh wait, you screw it in. Then yes. It you do that. That's what you do. Well, that's smart to do. Well, that's smart any day. But oh, you yeah, actually need like a screwdriver. Well, well, we can get a something. Okay, wait. So you clip that on. This yep. is a process. Then you get down and dirty on the floor, and then you stick it in the hole. And then you screw it in. Well, we don't have a screwdriver. No, we can get something. Well, I think what we'll do... We'll come back. We'll come back, and we will uh, we will show you the unit when it's all put together and hooked up. My fingers aren't screwdrivers. Nobody's are. Uh, so we're going to show you the unit when it's all hooked up at home, and we're going to play it and see what we think. Oh, oh, I am a screwdriver. Holy crap, we're learning things about me, guys. You can do it, Squid King. I'm a screwdriver. Uh, that's as far as I can go without all right. breaking myself. Up. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so, yeah, look, we got the, we got the base on. Yeah, we did it. I, I, we weren't completely useless. Uh, so we got the PS5 hooked up. Which it's, is very large. It is. It is. I'm going to be honest. I This is the first time I've seen it like in person. I thought it was going to be more like down to here. Uh, and because I know a lot of you uh, don't go by, uh, you know, very specific measurements, I thought I would measure it the classic way. There's a banana for scale. It is like three, four bananas high. It is. It's a very large. No, it looks good. I will say that visually, I think this is my favorite PlayStation. Yeah, it, it does look good. I think it actually looks better in person than it does. Yeah, the video is kind of... material. Yeah, so here we go. So we're going to just do a little bit of uh, uh, gameplay here. This is uh, Astro's this, Playroom. This is the preloaded game that comes with it. So I already played through most of this because it's fun. We want to test it out. So it's muted right now. So the controller, let's look at the controller really quickly that it's on. So, I mean, the haptic feedback is there. So, like, yeah. it's really hard to describe exactly. But when people say, like, oh, you know, I can I can feel the grass, you do. You honestly can. Uh, you can hear, if you pan up a little bit here, you can hear it coming through the controller. Oh, yeah. But you can, like, when he walks on the letters and when he walks, you can feel it, right? The adaptive triggers are there. Yeah, it's very, I mean, it's it's, it's very hard to explain. If It's definitely different than DualShock. It, it, it's more subtle, I think. But the... you can definitely tell it's Oh, yeah, different. yeah. And the adaptive triggers, you know, um, for those of you who don't know, essentially what that means is if there is something that requires more force, you actually have to push. It can register uh, weight better. Yeah. So there's sections of the game where, like, pushing it lightly is different than pushing it hard. It's just, it's very, like, it's a lot more than I expected, is what I'm trying to say, basically. So we're probably just going to play this really quick to, you know, demonstrate, like, load times and visualness. 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 So let me unmute this. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to point this out, too. Right here on the controller, because it has a built-in microphone, you can push that button and then mute your microphone. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so we're just going to get right into it. Like I said, I did uh, complete most of this game. So, to avoid spoilers, uh, I'm going to say what uh, we should do 
uh, a speed running section. So as you can see here, I have to use the touch pad and swipe them out. So let's just run over. So I mean, it's like you can feel. Right? Yeah, every, I mean, it's, it's I mean, this is more like a tech demo, but they're they're trying to give you like you're on glass, you're on metal, you're on grass, you're on sand, yeah. you're in mud. Um, so we'll just do this. And I mean, it's it's hard to to judge a system yet that because was the load time. that was the load time for the whole level. Now, this is cute. It kind of kind of has a Mario vibe to it, and I like some of the nods they had to the old PlayStation games. I mean, for a pack-in, it's not it's not bad. Oh no, it's actually quite good. That's short. Well, yeah, but that's I mean, kind of like to be expected. But it does it does feel like a, a tech demo? I mean, there's all kinds of different things you can get killed by. There's all kinds of things you can walk on. As and you can see, this is the uh, the speed run level of one of. So now, if you go to, that's <laughs> a thwomp, but not really. Yeah, I like a lot of the nods of the Sony tech in this. If you go to Clownfish TV Gaming, we'll probably be doing some gameplay, uh, actual. This is just kind of like, because right now, we don't film our gameplay like this normally. We no, God, no. A, we don't film a TV. No. God, that would be awful. It's very low tech. Right, so let's go really quick. Let's look at the menu, I guess. So you can see here um, all the areas of the game, right? Like if you want to play Bot Beach, like from the menu, mm -hmm. right? You just hit square. And you give it a second. And boom, you're there. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely like, you know, it's very quick. Right. Uh, so let's go to the home screen so you can see what that looks like. So I have a couple games down Fall here. Guys. <laughs> Everybody's got Fall Guys. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, there's all your games. Uh, it's it's like a mix between the PS3 and the PS4, I think. You can go down, and it has all your activities, and the news, and the broadcasts. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty easy to navigate. It, it definitely seems like a powerful system. The thing is, we're not going to see how powerful it is until you know a year or two out when they actually get the developers get used to uh you know programming for this system so. so this is nice they split the games and the media into two separate sections mm -hmm. so you have your game section and you have your media section okay so then just dump it all in the one and so it looks like it's way like it looks way simple right right but i think once you actually get into it i think it's actually more complicated than the PS4 was. Now, you said that you thought the store actually loaded faster. Yeah, before, the, at least for ours, the store took forever to load. Right? On PS4, yeah. There's the store. Okay. You're on the store now. And there are a bunch of games that are included. Yeah, I'll show those off too really quick. Yeah, so they if you have PS4 PS games. Plus, uh, if you have PS Plus, mm. uh, there, along with the additional PS Plus games you get every month, there's also the PS Plus collection, which you might have heard about, which is... All of these games, all these games are free uh, for PS Plus holders, and you can redeem them now. I'm not sure if this is going to stay. I mean, I'm sure it's going to stay. I just don't know if the games are going to stay. Yeah, that's why I'm what, because, yeah, it's got, I mean, Persona's on here where we've got uh, Infamous Second Son. Which is really good. Yes, um, very, very good game. So, I mean, like you can see here, I haven't purchased, so they're in my library now, but I'm not sure if these rotate or not. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, that is the PS5 for right now. For right now. Yeah, we're going to do some, again, we'll do some gameplay on Clownfish TV Gaming, uh, actual gameplay of it. But uh, if Sony hasn't completely soured you on buying a PS5, it is a um, pretty fine machine. We've been, you know, kicking the tires for a couple hours. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to tell. You don't know until the games actually come out. And really, it doesn't matter how powerful the system is. Are the games any good? And we're not going to know for a while. So, From what um, I've seen so far, I am actually excited. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. We're going to wrap it up? Yeah. All right. See you later, guys. Peace out.